All right, so earthquakes. So all the other videos I've made for you this year have shown my screen or just my hands doing something. But earthquakes are so important that you have to look at me instead. So here's what I need to, you need to know about earthquakes. So before earthquakes are going to happen. So the most preparation you can do is beforehand. So before an earthquake happens, you need to make sure that you are ready to go. So when it actually does strike, whenever that might be, that you and your family are ready. So the first thing to do is to inspect your house or your wherever you live, your home, your apartment, wherever you spend the most time and figure out are you safe for an earthquake? Are you prepared or are you not? So with that, first thing is looking at the stuff that you have in your house. Because as I said in the other video, earthquakes don't kill people, buildings kill people. So it's things that are in the people's houses that are what can injure you. So we want to make sure that you stay safe in an earthquake. So the first place to look is your bedroom. Because earthquakes can happen at any time of the day, but if it happens at night, then that's where you want to make sure that everything around you is prepared so that if you're waking up, oh no, and then there's an earthquake, you want to make sure that you are not in danger. So first thing is, where is your bed? Is your bed underneath a window? I definitely hope not. In California, your bed should not be underneath a window because that is just, that is danger. And windows can break and will break during an earthquake. So make sure that you, this might mean that you rearrange your bedroom soon so that your bed is not under, in, under a window. And then looking around too, do you have any heavy bookshelves or just even bookshelves in your room? Because bookshelves can tip over. You don't want any, any kind of books or any kind of things falling off bookshelves onto you. So check your bedroom and check around the house. Where are there bookshelves that could topple over? Uh, you also want to check on any kind of bookshelves or shelves. Where are the heavy things? You want to generally keep heavier things towards the bottom so that if they fall over, it's not going to cause as much damage. So anything that's heavy and up high must be secured. You want to make sure that those are safe. Um, in your room too, do you have any mirrors or pictures hanging on the wall? Nothing, no big heavy pictures or anything with glass should be over your bed. And nothing that can fall on you while you're sleeping. There should be nothing there because then that can be dangerous if there's an earthquake. So checking things that are hanging on the walls, um, checking where mirrors are, and then making sure you know that if there's an earthquake, where do you plan to go? Where are you going to go to stay safe during an earthquake? Um, and then beyond that, looking all around your house. Look at your house and go, where do we have heavy things? Where are there televisions or speakers that are up high? What if they fall? How about dishes in the kitchen? What if they fall? Where are they? Gonna, where are you going to go? Or where do you want to go anytime, anywhere in your house? If there's an earthquake, go room by room and go, if there's an earthquake right now, where would I go? Or if there's an earthquake right now, what might I want to run away from? So look for those potential hazards, what might be dangerous in every room, and then what also, what are the safe areas in every room? And this is a ongoing process to make sure your house is earth, earthquake safe. So I'm going to stop this video now, and then we're going to go to the next steps on making sure you are safe before an earthquake happens.